Hello, hello, all right, guys. I finally got some Diamond Kings. I ordered this stuff from Target like three weeks ago. It finally came in. It wasn't that, probably about two weeks ago. It took about a full two weeks for it to get to me. Um, actually, and I got some off of Walmart like last Friday, and today's Tuesday, and it got to me already. So I guess Walmart's a little bit faster to Target. I don't know. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and let's get this thing cracking, lacking. Gonna do all three blasters here in this video, guys. Um, first stuff first came out, I was pumped about it, you know. Um, I was gonna get some hobby boxes, but I guess they got canceled. So right now they're not going for nothing. They're down to like 108 bucks. They tried cutting everybody's heads off when they first came out. Not on pre-order, but then when they first came out, they jumped it up to like 130. And now they're at 108 free shipping online. So in a blaster here, we got, what, seven packs in a blaster. So I don't know what the ratio is. I haven't even watched too many. I watched a couple videos on these, not too many. Um, and a young rookie. Okay, I haven't seen him. Artist Proof, Ray... Uh, Kyle Lewis, not Ray Lewis. Kyle Lewis. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I think the artist proof, so I've seen them getting pulled. But then we got a club. The club. Mark McGuire. That's Dan Usual. Usual. It's going to be one of those names that hope I don't pull too many of that cat. Are these numbered at all? That's pretty cool. Kyle Lewis. Uh, I know Arts Proofs are usually pretty tough pulls, but I'm not sure in this stuff if they are or not. So I was going to, it was a toss up tonight whether I was going to open these or some garbage pill case series one. I got like a case of it. And um, yeah, I, I've been itching to just crack open a can you know i mean it's collector tins it's a collector tins it's not the small ones that you get at walmart or target it's the bigger ones my jones so i was thinking about another artist proof it must be one per pack huh garrett crouch the art of hitting understand usual casey mize I mean Kings. We got a oh no, it was okay, it came off. Cool. Let's say a chip, but otherwise it's good. But yeah, I was a toss up between that, this, and I never listed the um football. The uh vent the victory vintage something I had the other day. I can't remember. I opened one the other day. It's uh, you get like four cars per pack, two autos, Onyx. That's it. Onyx. I never listed the rest of those boxes, so I'm kind of itching that I might open up a couple. <laughs> I don't know. See, I should never open one until after I sell what I'm gonna sell, right? Sell what you're gonna sell, and then then open the rest. Then open what you're gonna open. Lou Gehrig. Wow, it's the first Lou Gehrig card I think I've ever had. Legacy lithographs. Joe DiMaggio. And we got a Kirk Scooball. Detroit. Scooball with the Scooball. I need to adjust my chair here, boys, because I'm sitting way too far away. Oh, shit. What do we got here? A Jody Majo is turning around backwards. Don't tell me it's an all car auto. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it's pretty cool though. It's like a like some kind of like a picture frame type deal right here where it's you able to see, but it's like it's in, indented into the cards. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Well done. Well done, Panini. 
this is like one of their cheapest ones as far as their uh, baseball cards goes and um pretty decent quality sometimes you don't get what you pay for and sometimes you get what you pay for as far as like production another artist proof this is my first one that's not a rook. And here we got a gallery of stars. Wookie Betts. Nice card as well. Again, I don't know when I'm pulling something rare. Maybe I, after I do this pack, do this box, whatever, I take a little peek. See what's what as far as ratios. Tucker Davidson. Could have ordered a crap more of these. These things were on Walmart's website for like three days last week, guys. I mean, they were just sitting there for $19.99. And now I look at them today. They're on Walmart's website, which is interesting because it says it's sold by Walmart and shipped by Walmart. But it says $39.99. Why is it sold and shipped by Walmart for $39.99 when it was on their website for $19.99? For like three days in a row last week. Gilletto. We got one here. Tony Gwynn, San Diego. We got a backwards card here, so what is this one going to be? Josh Fleming, Tampa Bay. Oh, it's a... Uh, it must be the... Maybe it's the Blue Flame player though? I don't know. It's a... Wow, look at that. It's a patch. It's a nice looking patch too. Josh Fleming, Tampa Bay. That's a pretty nice looking card, man. Now I'm kind of kicking myself fences. I didn't order anymore. I got B Street from Target. I got three from Walmart when I pulled it up. I could have bought six or more, but I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't really. Maybe I'll just go the Hobby Box route. They keep dropping. If they hit $99.99 free ship, I'm picking up the Hobby Box. I'm going to grab a couple of those. You know what I mean? Kyle Lewis. Another nice one, man. This is a nice set of cards, brother. I'm impressed. And I haven't been getting damaged. The only time I thought there was damage, it was a, uh, was a rookie, the debut. It was just something to wipe right off. So I'm impressed by this stuff, guys. I mean, if you've had any, what kind of luck have you got? What's your best pull? Anybody pulling any autos out of these blasters? That's another one of the club inserts. Iro Irochu. Iro I don't. I can't do it. I can do it. <laughs> Tom Seaver, blaster one down. One thing I will say is, uh, let's, there's not a lot as far as, now I'm coming off of Donruss, okay? So I'm coming off all these like 15 Donruss blasters, baseball, so. Those things are freaking slammed with packs, man. Those things are... You want something to rip, you just... Those things are like, oof. They keep you busy right there, brother. It's like 15 packs in one of those blasters. They're just tight. Brian Hayes, rookie. Nice. Artist Proof. Braxton Garrett from Miami. Nice. Pee Wee Reese. Not a lot of base, man. Not a lot of base at all. Matt Chapman there on the backside. 
Freddie Freeman. Daniel Johnson for the Tribe. Trevor Story. Ken Griffey, the club. Nice. There's your Matt Chapman. I watch people doing the videos of these. I was, I was like, eh, that's why I kind of pulled back on them a little bit. I was like, I'm not sure I'm really going to like these. You know? Well, I do. Walter Johnson. And we got a Christian Yelich turned over. Oh, it's one of these uh like bordered ones. That must be the blue frame parallel. See right here? One blaster exclusive blue frame parallel. That's gotta be it. Alright. Trey Turner was it elegant? Washington? Seattle, Kyle Lewis. I think he's had a lot of injury problems this year. No, he was in the uh, the game where the Tribe played the other night. Seattle. I missed a lot. I missed that like whole series except for the one they had uh, Saturday or Sunday they played. I can't remember. But I missed it. That stuff's too late, man. When he started at 10, 10 30 at night. I did watch some of one. I lied. Did stay up late one night last week. It's a babe, artist proof. Okay. Yogi Berra. Legendary lithograph. And a Diamond Kings debut, Alec Bohm. We're going to go ahead and freaking sleeve that bad boy up. And I don't know the ratios on a lot of this stuff, so it's kind of hard for me to get excited. We got a patch here, memorabilia card. Braxton Garrett. So we got a Tampa Bay picture on the last one. And we got a Miami picture on this one. I'm in Florida, so maybe there's something to that, huh? Maybe the... Pinny sends a, the Tampa Bay, a Randy, a Riz, a, another one of those names. A Rosarino. Yes. Probably still set it wrong. Actually, I got the, uh, right here, my other monitor. I got the um, Marlins and the Phillies game on right now at the bottom of the seventh. Miami's up one nothing. Nate Peterson, rookie. The club, Rod Carew. Did I get any number cards yet? I'm not looking for the numbers on the back. They're on the back, I haven't seen any on the fronts. Unless they're on the back. These cards are pretty nice. If Dave is going to put them, they should put them on the back. There's a trout. I think he's out now for a couple months, right? Artist proof on the Diamond Kings. All right. Debut. Shane McCallan. McCall McClannan. So that's a, I'm thinking that's pretty good. Now, artist proof is what you're like your uh, parallel, I'm thinking now. Art of hitting. Ichiro. Ichiro. I said it right. Cool looking card. No numbers on there. I would put them on the back of these. Drew Rasmussen. Debut. Diamond King.
last blaster for this video and I'll do one more video uh, another time of day. I had one too many Coke Zeros tonight, boys. Things take a toll on me. Too much heartburn. Stephen Howard. Artist proof here. What we got on this artist proof? Mel Ott. Lithographs. David Ortiz, Boston. Brian Hayes debut. Let's go ahead and I haven't seen him play yet. Has he been called up yet? Is he even in the majors right now? I haven't keep in mind though, I haven't seen a lot of the Pirates. I haven't seen much of their games. Um, but yeah, I haven't I have seen a few. But I didn't see him. I think the Indians did actually play the Pirates for a couple games. When the season starts, I'm all gung ho. I try to catch every game I can and then once it settles down, I just pretty much settle into the Indians a little bit and then a little bit of Tampa or Miami or whatever. Artist proof, Joey Bart rookie card. Show Otani. Nice insert there. Anderson Tejada, Texas. Definitely regret not picking up an extra three of these things from Walmart when they had them up. Probably won't see it again. Maybe a hobby box. Let's say that they hobby box come down to ninety nine ninety nine. I'm in. That's probably about where they should be anyway. One of weights not bad shipped, so you can't. I can't fault you for that. Lou Gehrig Gallery of Stars. Not seen anything numbered yet though. And then we got a San Diego. Jake Cromworth. Louis Patino. Here we got a uh, Ebert Ruiz backwards, and it's the uh, blue special blaster. That's a rookie one, too. Wow. I didn't notice that one. I wonder what the other ones were. I wouldn't even think about those being rookie. I was thinking about just being like a regular insert, not a Parallel from the uh, base. That's pretty cool. Miguel Cabrera, the art of hitting. Those are really nice, too. I like those stars. Alex Kirloff. He had kind of a tough night when he first came up. I think they were playing the Tribe. And he had an error in the outfield. Or maybe they were playing the White Sox. And the announcers gave him hell, like Steve Stone and somebody else was the announcers, and they, they gave him hell. Could have been the tribe announcers, though. Because that one tribe announcer, he's a pretty tough cookie. He, if it's like a routine play and somebody doesn't make it, he's like, well, I made all the routine plays. You know what I mean? It's kind of a, kind of a hard ass. You got to make that play if you want to stay in the majors. Ah. <laughs> Artist proof. Mickey Cochran. Reggie Jackson. Joe Wood. I never sleeve that cat up. Let me sleeve this dude up just because it's an artist proof. A debut.
it's kind of misleading though because remember back in the day what pinnacle had the all those poops right those things were tough pulls man like one per hobby box or something like that i think dylan carlson that's a nice he's a good rookie right now for, for st louis is this two cards or one yeah, it's two and i think that's like an insert or something like that for dylan no i got one more pack to go i'll just get it when i'm done Aficionado. That's the insert set there for Dylan Carlson. See the last I thought we had a Shane Bieber on the back. I was like, oh shit. But it's not. Soto. Christian Yelich there. Gallery of Stars. And the last one is a Brady Singer. He's a pretty good looking pitcher prospect so far, folks. Um, that's one right there. I think I'm going to take his pitcher card, rookie cards, and I think I'm going to stash them. I think they're going to go in a box somewhere. I'm going to put them out in the shed and just forget about them. A lot of space all right all right guys so i think that's it i'm gonna take a second here and i'm gonna run through these on the back side real quick because with panini i'm used to getting some uh numbers it's freaking dylan carlson right there though man it's, it's like an insert i know back in the day we never claimed inserts as like rookie cards as an insert had to be like the rookie card for it to be a rookie card. Not really seeing anything as far as numbered goes yet. And that's pretty strange for Panini to open up three blasters of a Panini product and not get one numbered card. I'm not complaining though. I'm actually like okay with it. You know, that's how I feel about this product. I'm actually okay with not getting. A numbered card that feels weird because normally you know i want numbered cards <laughs> numbered cards i like serial numbered cards Ooh, one out of a hundred oh i'm special look at me only a hundred other people have this card it's purple yeah but whatever right? it's the little things Not seeing any. Let's see what cards. No. All right, guys, that's it. Um, no number cards. I got three more blasters of the stuff I'm going to do. Maybe I'd like to get some more now. I feel kind of like disappointed I didn't buy more when I had the opportunity. So uh, we'll open up the other three and uh, we'll see if maybe we can get a serial number card or something. I'll have to actually look at the stats so I know if I actually pulled something good or not. But I kind of get an idea. I did get some good stuff because I got some artist proofs of some rookies and that seems like the one parallel or whatever thing. So. Sorry, guys. Bye for now, and um, off to the next and later.